Hey everyone, this is Josh Hayes. This is my Zygu G90 radio. It's a very fantastic radio. And I'm going to show y'all something. I'm going to turn my tune off, my tuner, internal tuner off. And now what I'm going to show y'all is with my in-fed wire antenna, I'm going to show y'all what my SWR is naturally without even tuning it. I'm going to hold down the power button. This is how you do this on this radio. You hold down the power button. Check this out, y'all. Look how good my SWR is, y'all. Fantastic. That is like super good. I'm going to click this button right here to quit it, the scanning. Now I'm going to turn the tuner on. I'm going to turn my tuner on and tune. I'm going to do it one more time. Okay, now I'm going to hold the power button down. That's really good. It really can't be tuned much more than that. Like, it's already on one. I'm not sure what the, that means, I guess. Um, I don't know exactly. See, it kind of straightened out then. And that's kind of different. Uh, I guess it's just where... Uh, you know, there might be kinks in my line. Possibly, maybe. Maybe not. But it seems to be pretty accurate. I'm not sure what that is, but... Could be how the wire has some bends and kinks in it. My wire antenna. Anyways, I'm going to click quit on this. Now, um, you know, on some of the other bands like this one, without the antenna tuner on... It's not the greatest, but it's still really good. The SWR. That's that's really good for that. I have a really nice antenna, and it's just an in-fed antenna, and it works great. And then if I tune it, it may tune it even more. That was different. I think it might have tuned it even more there. You can see where it tuned. Yeah, it might have brought it down closer to 1.0. Now, let's, let's see. 20 meters. Wow. 20 meters is good too, SWR. I see all those little bumps and stuff. If I turn my antenna tuner on and then click tune and hold tune. Now, let's see what it is. Might have improved it, actually. I think it did. It's like fine-tuning it. That's pretty impressive, y'all. Now, the upper bands, it's not the perfect SWR, I don't believe. I'll turn my tuner off, but I'm going to hold power. It's not perfect on that, but I do have a lot of bends and kinks in my Antenna. I don't know if that's what that is or not, but it could be. Could be picking that up. All those like bends in it in my antenna. And uh, now I'm going to click quit. So it's about two. That was different. It could be all those kinks in my antenna. It's about two or 1.4, 1.8. Now I'm going to click the tuner on and hold tune. Let's see if this improves the SWR. I'm going to hold power button down again. Yep. The bottom there, I think it helped. And then it goes back to that. So I'm not exactly sure why I would do that. Uh, seem to straighten it. But when I go to transmit, it usually stays at a 1 for some reason. Which is a good thing, because when you transmit, you want your SWR closest to one, you know. And here's some of the stations on here. For a couple of three days before you started. Good signal. This is a good radio, y'all. And it, if you want to, you could always get that Zygu, uh, I think it's something 125 
B or something or something it's like an amplifier and a built-in antenna tuner in it so that's a real good you know good combo with the antenna tuner with the uh, you know the uh, antenna tuner and also it has the built-in what's well, an amplifier built-in amplifier and built-in antenna tuner is what I mean and this is 40 meters there's that station there good signal real good signal and my antenna is not super super tall off the ground it's decent but maybe 20 feet off the ground maybe maybe something about 20 feet or a little maybe 22 25 feet not not much more than that i don't think though uh, and then you got you got some real good signal on uh 80 meters I can turn my volume up good. Good signal. I don't know what that signal is, just curiosity. Not sure what all that is. It's not on the hand band anyways. I was just seeing what that was, you see. Just listening on that other frequency. Let's just see here. Eighteen hundred. Now I have an antenna that's uh, made for 160 to 6 meters. It's just I got a lot of bends and kinks in it. So I think that's why my SWR looks so poor on this up to 4. But the good thing is when I tune it, it tunes. And it allows me to communicate with only like one. See? With only like one SWR, which is fantastic, y'all. It's fantastic. It goes back up there, and then it goes back to four. But it really is, you know, one when you go to transmit. Even though it says four, for some reason it goes down to one, though. And, of course, the cool thing about this radio, if you go one over, it won't let you transmit on a non-ham frequency, which is really cool. Anyways, y'all, this is Josh Hayes. This is a very fantastic radio, super good radio. I would consider it probably a QRP radio, although 20 watts is decent. Even though, you know, a lot of ham radio operators use more than 20 watts or more than 100 watts sometimes. Uh, I'll turn that down for the lightning crash things on there. The noise on there. Anyways, y'all, it's a really good radio. It's a good starter radio for me. I really recommend this radio because it's a really good radio. Could I have got a, you know, save my money and got a bigger, better radio for, you know, a lot more money? Yeah. But at the time, I didn't have like $1,500. Uh, but this is 20 watts. I could have got a radio that comes standard 100 watts and then get an amplifier if I wanted and it would be more like a few hundred watts most likely for a radio. But this right here is doing very good. I was, I was able to talk to Panama. I was able to talk to Columbia, Saskatchewan, Canada, Winnipeg, Canada, California. I've heard Rome, Italy the other day. I tried to communicate, you know, that far, but through the pileup, it's sometimes hard with a 20 watt radio. However, it's not impossible. It's kind of hard to communicate on a pileup, you know, on any radio because there's so many stations coming through. But the other day, I was able to, with my Zygu G90 radio right here with 20 watts on 10 meters, I was able to talk about 2,000 miles to Panama. 
on a pile up. A lot of people kept coming through on there, and I was using a CB radio antenna. It's pretty impressive. A CB radio antenna the other day on 10 meters. And I tuned it, the antenna. It was I was parked in my truck, and I was able to talk to Panama, approximately 2,000 miles. Very, very impressive. You can't talk that far just with a CB radio. But, uh, I mean, I guess you can if uh, the conditions are right. But uh, 10 meters seems to be open more. I don't know why, but it definitely seems to be open more than CB radio. And, of course, there's a lot more power as well. 20 watts versus 4 watts. It's only allowed with a CB radio. If any of y'all have any more questions about my radio here, please, in the comments, let me know. Because I love to talk about radios. It's one of my favorite hobbies. It's just such an exciting little radio here. And my plan is to, when I save my money up, to get that amplifier that's made for this radio, Zygu brand amplifier. I'll get that radio, I mean that uh, amplifier, Lord willing. And it'll, you know, bring my, my, uh, power on my radio up to about 100 watts and then that'd be pretty good then the main thing though is the antennas because you know a little ampl you know amplifier is not going to help the receive the reception it'll help the transmission but i need to figure out how to get my you know my antennas up above the trees a lot taller because sometimes it's hard to get it up the trees I've heard that you have to have like an arborist throw line or like a slingshot with a weight to get the line, like a a slick line up above a tree and then pull your antenna up. I'm kind of not super familiar with all that equipment stuff. If anyone knows the best way to uh, get your antenna way up above a tree, whether it's through like a slingshot or a slick line with a weight, Please let me know the best way and, you know, perhaps the most affordable way as well. The most affordable. And, uh, because I've noticed once I get my antenna up a little bit more above the ground, I get even better signal. And even if I change the direction of the antenna, I pick up, like the other day, I picked up, I believe it was uh, Finland, perhaps, or the Netherlands or somewhere. I don't know if it was the Netherlands. I think it was Finland or maybe Denmark or somewhere. I can't remember exactly, but it was somewhere in Europe. And uh, that's because I oriented my antenna like east and west instead of like north and south. And it seemed to pick up more east-west stations like Europe or, you know, other stations. Perhaps in the, uh, I think that was the only one I heard that day was like around Europe. And uh, different stations I could pick up, you know, different orientations of my wire antenna, my infed, um, infed wire antenna. But I'm still learning. And if anyone has any comments or questions or wisdom, I'm always uh, welcoming wisdom in the comment section about radios. And I hope you all enjoy this Zygu G90 radio review. And it's, uh, it's a really good radio. And I was demonstrating about my SWR. It's really cool how this radio works. It has a lot of features all in one radio. You don't even need an antenna tuner with this radio, which is awesome. And the awesome thing is as well, with that amplifier, a lot of times when you have an amplifier, you have to have an external antenna tuner with it. But the cool thing is, it works with the Zygu G90 because it's the same brand, Zygu. And it tunes just like the Zygu radio does, which is pretty impressive. And hopefully that's the amplifier that I get in the future. I hope you all enjoyed this uh, YouTube video of mine. I also like to post YouTube videos about my garden. All my cool vegetables, Lord willing. I'll have all kinds of vegetables, Lord willing. And also, you know, 